Welcome to a quick peek into the new Multilock Classic Pro cylinder. Disclaimer. Please read this disclaimer carefully. Also, it's worth mentioning that we only had one cylinder to test, so what you see here is based on one cylinder. The Classic Pro cylinder that we got is a very interesting product. Here we can see the keyway of the Classic Pro and what I did is I put the special pin that uh, the new Classic Pro is all about on the first position so you can actually see what that special pin looks like when it's on the first position. In our lock, however, it was placed on the third position. Um, here we see the key of the Classic Pro and we expect to see uh, the pin in pin mechanism. However, we see only this cuts on position 1, 2, 4 and 5 and on position 3 we see something else. If we take a close up look on position 3, we can actually see that the key has got two grooves in it. So there's an inner groove which is a little bit wider and there's an outer groove and the outer groove is only on the right side of the keyway. So there's nothing supporting that pin on the left side, it's only on the right side. If we look at the plug, we see that on position 3, the pin-in-pin -pin mechanism looks a little bit different than before. And in this case, we see that the inner pin is actually flat, it's not round. We also see that there's a little groove next to the chamber of the pin. And the groove reminds us a little bit of a uh, Medeco uh, groove that is meant to allow the pins only a certain degree of rotation. In this case, however, it's meant to support the pin that it cannot rotate at all. It can only move up and down. If we look closely, we also see that on position one, two, four, and five, the same groove is there, except it's on the bottom side of, um, of the chamber. Here, all the pins are removed and you can see how deep this groove goes into the chamber of the pins. If we look at the pins, pin 1, 2, 4 and 5 are what we would expect to see in a telescopic pin-in-pin multi-lock product like the Interactive Plus. Uh, but on position 3 we see that there's a flat pin. And the outer pin is also has a shape that we've never seen before. Uh, it's got a little pin sticking out and there's a, a groove milled into this uh, into the front of the, of the pin. So here's a close-up of the inner pin and the outer pin. On top you see the inner pin that is flat and on the bottom you see the outer pin with the little pin sticking out to uh, prevent the pin from rotating. Now the inner pin and the outer pin are connected and the inner pin can slide into the outer pin like this. The key lifts up the inner pin and the outer pin this way. The inner groove supports the inner pin. The outer groove on the right side only supports this outer pin and makes a flush uh, shear line on um, the inner and outer pins. So here we see the plug with the correct key inserted and we see on position 3 on the 10, 11 o'clock position the little part sticking out of that pin preventing the pin from turning. So this is the end already of um, the Classic Pro uh, presentation. Um, as I said, it's only one cylinder we have and time will tell what the exact specifications of this cylinder are. But for now, it looks very interesting and very promising. So this is the end. If you have any questions or comments, please visit our website. And we're always looking for interesting logs for our newsletter. So if you have anything interesting to let us know, please contact us. Thank you for watching.